has something to do with the way that a jury is going to perceive and receive and consider and conclu make conclusions based on evidence at trial, Congressman. Time the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, Mr. Nadler. Thank you, <clears throat> Thank you Mr. Chairman. Mr. Hur, in your written testimony, you say that you found some evidence that the president might have willfully retained classified materials at the end of his vice presidency, correct? Correct. But ultimately, you concluded that you could not prove that charge in the court of law. In your words, you, quote, did not identify evidence that rose to the level of proof beyond a reasonable doubt, close quote, correct? That was my judgment. You have been a prosecutor for a long time, Mr. Hur. Would you agree that there is no such thing as being a little bit charged for a crime? You're either charged or you're not, correct? <laughs> could you please repeat the question, Congressman? Would you agree that there's no such thing as being a little bit charged for a crime? You're either charged or you are not charged, correct? Yes, it is binary. Either one is not Thank charged you. or charged. So just to be clear, because so many people have taken your words out of context, your ultimate conclusion was that President Biden could not be charged with a crime because even after your thorough investigation, you could not find sufficient evidence to charge him, correct? My conclusion was that based on my evaluation of the evidence, you as a don't, don't feel us correct? I'm sorry, Congressman, I didn't hear your last question. I said, based on your conclusion, your ultimate conclusion is that President Biden could not be charged with a crime because even after your thorough investigation, you could not find sufficient evidence to charge him. Correct or not correct? My ultimate conclusion was that criminal charges were not warranted. Correct. Now, let's talk about why. I have limited time, so please, when I say correct or not correct, answer the question. Now, let's talk about why, in sharp contrast to President Biden, President Trump faces 40 charges related to the unlawful retention of highly classified documents. That is, of course, apart from the additional 51 counts in cases alleging that he incited a rebellion and lied about his finances. You found that President Biden reported the possible classified documents in his possession to the FBI as soon as he learned of them, correct? There was a voluntary disclosure by the President's counsel to authorities relating to the discovery of classified documents at the Penn Biden. Let's contrast this with President Trump. Are you aware that the FBI only learned that Trump was in possession of classified material after the National Archives discovered them? Congressman, I am not intimately familiar with the facts relating to former President Trump. I'm prepared to comment on them to the extent that I address them okay. in the report. You write in your report that President Biden, quote, would not have handed the government classified documents from his own home on a silver platter if he had willfully retained those documents for years, close quote. In other words, part of understanding President Biden's intent was that he quickly and voluntarily returned those documents to the government, correct? That was a factor in our analysis, yes. Thank you. By way of contrast, to the best of your knowledge, why did the Department of Justice seek a warrant to search Mar-a-Lago? Congressman, I am not familiar with those deliberations. That is a matter that I had no participation well, in. Well, I'll tell you, it was because they were concerned that Trump had lied about possession of those documents and might conceal or destroy them. Special Counsel Smith found that President Trump obstructed his investigation by suggesting that his attorney falsely represent to the FBI and grand jury that Trump did not have the documents called for by the grand jury subpoena. At any point in your investigation, did you have any reason to believe that President Biden lied to you? I do address in my report one response the president gave uh, to a question that we had posed to him that we deemed to be not credible. Was it clear he didn't lie? I'm sorry, Congressman. The report is clear that he didn't lie or that he caused his staff to lie to you and that he didn't cause his staff to lie to you. Your report is clear on that. I do you agree not. that causing someone to lie to the FBI is a classic example of obstruction of justice? It is an example of obstruction, yes. Thank you. Trump also obstructed the Smith investigation by directing one of his employees to move boxes of documents to conceal them from Trump's attorney, from the FBI, and from the grand jury. At any point in your investigation, did you find that President Biden directed his staff to conceal documents from you or anyone else? We did not reach that okay. conclusion. You would agree that hiding documents is a classic example of obstructing an investigation? It is an example of obstruction. Thank you. Donald Trump instructed his staff to delete security footage so that the FBI and special counsel could not see how he had tried to move and hide documents. Do you agree that attempting to delete video footage in this manner is plainly an attempt to obstruct an investigation? Congressman, I, I don't want to characterize the evidence in the case against former But President. if that happened, would you agree that deleting video footage is plainly an attempt to obstruct an investigation? Congressman, it's the type of evidence that prosecutors would okay. consider. Okay. To sum up, 
Donald Trump is charged with willfully retaining classified documents and conspiring to conceal those documents. And he's facing additional charges for lying to investigators. Isn't that correct? Those are allegations that are in a pending Matter indictment public against record. former President Trump. And the reason why President Biden is not facing a single charge, Mr. Herr, is not because you went easy on him, but because after reviewing 7 million documents and interviewing nearly 150 witnesses, including the president himself, you could not prove that he had committed a crime. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from uh, Mr. McClintock, gentleman from California, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Herr. I first want to get this straight. Is it now okay if I uh, take home top secret? Third, Special Counsel Herr repeatedly emphasizes that President Biden's conduct contrasts sharply with that of former President Trump. Herr observes that unlike President Biden, quote, the allegations set forth in the indictment of Mr. Trump, if proven, would clearly establish not only Mr. Trump's willfulness, but also serious aggravating factors. He sets forth these points of difference in detail, quote, most notably after being given multiple chances to return classified documents and avoid prosecution, Trump allegedly did the opposite. According to the indictment, he not only refused to return the documents for months, but he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it, unquote. He returned only a portion of subpoenaed documents and deliberately withheld the rest. Unlike President Biden, Trump did not alert the National Archives or DOJ of the documents, nor did he turn over all the classified materials in his possession. He did not agree to sit down for a voluntary interview with the special counsel. He never consented to a search of his home. On the contrary, Trump suggested that his attorney hide or destroy evidence requested by the FBI and the grand jury. Trump carefully instructed his aide to move boxes of classified documents to hide them from the FBI. Trump tried to delete incriminating security tape footage from Mar-a-Lago, and he got his attorney to provide a false certification the FBI saying he had produced all the documents in his possession. He did not. Given that this report is so damning in the contrast between Biden and Trump, it is hard for me to see why our colleagues think that this hearing advances their flailing and embarrassing quest to impeach the President of the United States. What America sees today is evidence of one president who believes in the rule of law and works to protect it, and one who has nothing but contempt for the rule of law and acts solely in pursuit of his own constantly multiplying corrupt schemes. Former President Trump, her observes that unlike President Biden, quote, the allegations set forth in the indictment of Mr. Trump, if proven, would clearly establish not only Mr. Trump's willfulness, but also serious aggravating factors. He sets forth these points of difference in detail, quote, most notably after being given multiple chances to return classified documents and avoid prosecution, Trump allegedly did the opposite. According to the indictment, he not only refused to return the documents for months, but he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it, unquote. He returned only a portion of subpoenaed documents and deliberately withheld the rest. Unlike President Biden, Trump did not alert the National Archives or DOJ of the documents, nor did he turn over all the classified materials in his possession. He did not agree to sit down for a voluntary interview with the special counsel. He never consented to a search of his home. On the contrary, Trump suggested that his attorney hide or destroy evidence requested by the FBI and the grand jury. Trump carefully instructed his aide to move boxes of classified documents to hide them from the FBI. Trump tried to delete incriminating security tape footage from Mar-a-Lago, and he got his attorney to provide a false certification the FBI saying he had produced all the documents in his possession. He did not. Given that this report is so damning in the contrast between Biden and Trump, it is hard for me to see why our colleagues think that this hearing advances their flailing and embarrassing quest to impeach the President of the United States. What America sees today is evidence of one president who believes in the rule of law and works to protect it, and one who has nothing but contempt for the rule of law and acts solely in pursuit of his own constantly multiplying corrupt schemes. Trump allegedly did the opposite. According to the indictment, he not only refused to return the documents for months, but he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it, unquote. 
He returned only a portion of subpoena documents and deliberately withheld the rest. Unlike President Biden, Trump did not alert the National Archives or DOJ of the documents, nor did he turn over all the classified materials in his possession. He did not agree to sit down for a voluntary interview with the special counsel. He never consented to a search of his home. On the contrary, Trump suggested that his attorney hide or destroy evidence requested by the FBI and the grand jury. Trump carefully instructed his aide to move boxes of classified documents to hide them from the FBI. Trump tried to delete incriminating security tape footage from Mar-a-Lago, and he got his attorney to provide a false certification the FBI saying he had produced all the documents in his possession. He did not. Given that this report is so damning in the contrast between Biden and Trump, it is hard for me to see why our colleagues think that this hearing advances their flailing and embarrassing quest to impeach the President of the United States. What America sees today is evidence of one president who believes in the rule of law and works to protect it, and one who has nothing but contempt for the rule of law and acts solely in pursuit of his own constantly multiplying corrupt schemes. I yield back. Gentleman yields back without objection. All other opening. You say, quote, most notably after being given multiple chances to return classified documents and avoid prosecution, Mr. Trump allegedly did the opposite. According to the indictment, he not only refused to return the documents for many months, but he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it. Have you any reason to change your judgment about the differences between President Biden's cooperation and the former president's non-cooperation? No, I continue to stand by those words in my report. With such a striking contrast, our colleagues have switched over from being impeachment investigators for constitutional high crimes and misdemeanors, which is how this whole thing started, to doing. being amateur memory specialists, giving us their drive-by diagnoses of the President of the United States, whose soaring oratory, powerful historical analysis, and devastating extemporaneous repartee with even the most skilled ninja hecklers of the Freedom Caucus were on full display at the State of the Union address last week for the whole country to see. The desperate quest to invent an issue is a distraction from the 91 federal and state federal charges that Donald Trump faces now, his staggering civil court losses in New York now totaling more than a half a billion dollars, and his full blown embrace and romance with authoritarian dictators and communist tyrants all over the world, from Viktor Orban in Hungary to Vladimir Putin in Russia, the former head of the KGB, to the communist dictator of North Korea. Wow. I've just got to say, wow. Jamie Raskin on, just on point. Literally everything he said, there is nothing I beg. Go and listen again. There is nothing he says that is incorrect. Please, rewind and have another listen. It's brilliant.